Hi folks, welcome! As you probably know, I don't pay too much attention to the details of my project. I'm talking about aesthetics. I have a very strange taste of <laughs> good-looking things. I love to have things that are vintage, that looks not perfect. And also all my projects, I love to make them this way, so I know all, all the process. Uh, and, and yeah, that's something for me very important. But it's something not so much important if I want to start to sell my projects. So today I receive a package and we're going to open it together. But first, intro! <laughs> Until today, if you want to buy a very powerful laser, you need to go with CO2, which is not a very great idea because it's very expensive. The life of the tube, the CO2 tube, isn't so long and it's also a very huge machine, which takes so much space and also is very heavy to transport. Technology right now developed this, it is a la laser diode machine and they combine so many diodes all together that shoots all the power together and they end up with 40 watts of power, I'm not joking. So let's open the, the box and see how everything performs. Madon. The first component is a metal draw. This is so handy, we'll catch all the small parts we're gonna cut with the laser and we can then clean the machine easier. We have then a red filter that this will close the machine. Later I will explain you. And we have also the, all the other small parts we have to connect to the machine. By the way, the machine itself come, itself come already mounted and it's so sturdy and very heavy, which means good quality. Now I just have to do one thing, take the Halo key and connect all the parts that will form the top cover. This is so handy, we'll catch all the smoke that the laser will produce and have also two features. The first one is a built-in camera. This is so handy if you want to frame the parts with the software and also a very powerful fan that looks like a PC fan but is much much more power. So we can then finish to assemble everything, just five little screws and the machine is ready and so finally the machine is completely mounted, it was very easy and I took 10 days just to practice with the machine, to test the power of the laser module and also the software. The computer and the machine communicates with, with, together with two uh, USB-C cable, one is for transferring the file and moving the head and everything and the other USB cable is co for controlling a camera that is placed here above which is so handy later I will explain you also this and I already know what you want to know I'm talking about this very interesting laser module this is something unbelievable for me was something is 40 watt laser inside there isn't only one huge laser it is a combination of many laser models all together and they are all placed very closely and yeah, I made something here on the table. Let me show you how a laser module like this one is made inside and how it basically works. to align perfectly this very powerful laser module. We can take eight of them and shine the light through these very special mirrors. All of them will pass between this special lens and basically this is how the module laser, 40 watt laser module works. We have many of these laser module, all of them will shine the light through this special glass and these mirrors let some light pass through it and some reflect. So all of them will pass into the lens, the focal le le lens, and all the power is the output we need. So I just came back from the shop and I bought this very, very thin piece of wood. And this is a very hard wood. And you can clearly see it with the lamp that is so thin, that is transparent, which will, will, which will work great as a lamp. So what I have to do now is design with the software here all the, all the parts I need and probably this is taking so much humidity that it's folding upwards so I have to glue it on top of a rigid base so that I can cut it much easier with the laser. So let's start to design the parts. 
Positioning such as fitting wood into the machine, the cutting machine laser can be quite tricky because it's all banded up and probably if I cut small pieces they will fall and crash into the laser and stop the machine from cutting. So the solution is to glue the parts but I don't want to make a mess on top of the wood so I don't want to make it dirty and the solution is to cover it with paper tape which doesn't leave residue on top of the wood and then apply some spray glue here just on the paper tape. Basically we are making our Self double sided tape, but this is paper tape, so that it doesn't leave residue on top of the wood, and I think is a very great idea. I can apply also glue here on a rigid wood base and let everything stick on each side. So, this is the solution. With this machine, I received two laser heads, which was a very big surprise. With, we have the bigger one, which is a 40 watt, and here on the website, they say that it isn't really made for for very, very fine details. I don't agree. I say that even if it's such a powerful laser head, it can clearly make also engraving and also small decoration without problems. But having a very smaller one, smaller laser with a smaller focus beam maybe, no, I don't think, I think the focus beam is the same, but is less power and much, much more precise. Hey, let, let us also create a very fine details and engrave smaller things. So swapping the two heads is very easy. Just have to remove one cable and, and, and connect the other one. And no, no, modify, no, no, no mod on the software are needed. No, you, have to, you don't have to do nothing. You just swap the two heads and the machine is ready to be used. Talking about the machine, we also have a camera that is placed here on top. Once I start to engrave with this machine, it was so tricky for me to understand how to place the, the head of the laser um, in, on, the top, on top of the wood I want to cut. But we are very lucky because this camera just works for us. We can take a picture, see the picture on the software and just draw things on top of the piece we just took a photo on. So no, no more align, alignment problems at all. I show you this component. This is an air pump. Basically, it's an air compressor and it's amazing. It can work just regulating the airflow directly from the machine. So it's connected here on the side and the best part of this machine is the cable management. So you can clearly see that all the parts just dis disappear inside the machine. The air that is produced from the pump will pass through this little nozzle in front of the laser and from this little hole not only we have the very powerful light beam but also a very very small air supply that will clean the part we're gonna cut so it will remove smoke and debris. I was used to design parts in 3D but with the laser we just have to design in 2D so it's much easier and all the parts are just taking shape in a couple of minutes. So what I have to do now is cut all the parts and is I think it's mandatory to have a machine like this and start a business because the results are so precise and I can't wait to see everything just made and ready to be mounted. So let's start to cut. And now I can cut all the parts. Consider that I'm not even using the whole power of the machine. This is a 40 watt laser module and for cutting these very thin pieces of wood I'm just using 8 watts. So the machine is going pretty fast and only one minute is necessary to cut all the, the parts. So I, I'm happy because I regulate the power of the laser enough so that I can cut only the thin wood and not the rigid board that is on the bottom. Also the glue and the paper tape was a, such, a, such a good trick to use you can see that all the parts sticks perfectly and was so fast to machine so after a couple of minutes I ended up to have all the parts and I also designed some little bottoms I'm playing with the power to see how how good is the engraving of this machine and I then take a wood stick and then connect all the single parts on top of the wood stick I have to make sure to don't make a mess and disalign some parts otherwise it will not work and and now that all the parts are connected on top of the wood stick, it's very easy. I just have to do the same thing, but bending the parts and connecting from the other side. So we have basically 24 parts and now that all of them are connected, I can close the other side as well with a little cap with my logo. So it's coming great. I think it's, it looks like something you can buy in the shop, even if it's completely homemade, the precision of the machine makes a great job. I also connected a ceramic lamp holder and a LED lamp which looks amazing. It's a warm warm white lamp and both of them are ready. 
So the lab components are ready and we need now to make a base. And this can be a good way to test the power of this 40 watt laser. I took this very hard wood that has a lot of knots inside and, and I can then measure it. It is 18 millimeters, so it's quite thick and I can't wait to see how many passes are necessary to cut it. So I can start the machine at full power this time. I designed also a puzzle shape so that I can connect these two pieces of wood together. Probably no glue will be necessary because the laser will cut such a precise shape that is just a friction fit and no, need, no glue is really needed. So basically we are building like a wood base that will hold the wood snail we made earlier and both parts came great. This reminds me like an octopus tentacle with a very sharp point, like a fishing pole point and I can connect the puzzle together. You can see that the laser not only cuts all this very thick wood in only six passes, but is also such a precise fit. Wow, <laughs> amazing. And finally you can see them turn on completely mounted, consider that I can still move all the parts so I can still, I'm, I'm still able to move and place precisely all the single things that compose this lamp. I love between the two parts, between the two models, I love much more the one that is hanged from the ceiling. And I think they look amazing if we place two or three of them. They look like uh, uh, animals that are floating in the air. And these are just ambient light. I place inside a very, very uh, low power LED lamp, which doesn't get hot at all, which is amazing because heat and wood doesn't stand together very well. We can burn our house. So just choose LED lamps and maybe choose a, a warm color, warm white color of lamps, which is much more ambient. We create much more ambient. So at this point, if you want to buy one of these lamps, I'm going to make only 10 models of this. Put them on Etsy, so you find the link here. Consider that the copper cable will be made with, with a much nicer one, covered with braid. And just check it out on Etsy and see you there. And if you want to know more about Creality Falcon 2 machine, about the laser and the price and everything, yes, you can find the link here below as well, so check it out. And see you soon with another YouTube tutorial. This is the only YouTube channel talking about tutorials and things I love and experiment, experiment I'm doing to get with you. <laughs> See you soon. Ciao.